I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. Hello, welcome to my vlog, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, please don't forget to give you a thumbs up. I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. So I've just bought this from TK Maxx. Um, it did have some pom-poms, I did film it but it's not filmed. So it did have some pom-poms like so on the top and some little string that went round the side but actually when you take the lid off and put it underneath to put it as a box shape for flowers um, you're not going to get to be able to um, see it properly because it's going to tip and then I wouldn't be able to use the bottom so that's cost £3.99 from TK Maxx it's cost a fiver from Tesco's um, you don't use this but I'm just using it as background on I've just got that from TK Maxx which I think is so so cute so what I'm going to do if I can do it quickly because my friends are about to come round to do me a favour so I wanted to get some flowers. So I'm going to take some uh, cellophane, which I bought from the range. And you're just going to measure it out. I'm just go and get my scissors. Always well prepared, because I'm always last minute. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this in here. So you want two layers of it. So I might actually be able to use this as one. Somebody's coming back now. Thank you, Jack's coming back from the party. Uh, could I use it like that? I could do. Hang on, let me think. Yes, let me use it like that the first time, and then the second time is going to be. So I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to fold that in half again. And I'm going to put it so it goes the other way. So, because you need, you need it covering or the inside of the box. There we go. Okay, so once you've covered that, you've covered the inside of the box, you then want your oasis. So I always use one of my knives from here, I use a different one. So I'm gonna cover that box with oasis and I'm gonna go to there. Thank you, Jeff always loves doing this bit. Unfortunately, he's been at a party, so you just trim it down to the size that you need, and then you squeeze it in, make sure you squeeze it right down to the bottom, and then of course I've got a side bit here that needs covering, so I've got some odd bits that I've cut off from other flower decorations that I've done, so always keep your odd bits, and then you can... Stash them in, like so. And you just want to fill that area as much as you possibly can to make sure that it's nice and secure in the box. Okay, then you take your scissors and you are going to cut round the outside of the cellophane so you lose that cellophane that's spilling over because of course you don't want that messy mess. You just want it so, oh, there we go. You don't want it popping over, but you need it. And then, what you're now going to do is you're going to fill that oasis. I use slightly warmer water always for my flowers, I never use freezing cold. So, I've got a jug here, and with the jug, you've also got on the flowers, you've got its food. that food in there, give it a swirl around and then start pouring. And that will all soak into that oasis. Now it's soaking in because this is what's obviously going to keep your flowers. This is what they do for wedding flowers. I mean if you're a florist Obviously you won't be watching this video because I'm not an expert, so you'll be watching more exper experienced people. But if you've never done this before, then this will fascinate you as how they keep the flowers without it looking like it's soaked in water. But they are, because it's Oasis. Now that's just sitting on the top now. Can you see? I don't know whether you can. Let me just pick you up and let's see if you can see. 
just slightly sitting on the top. Oh, it's soaking in a bit, but it did like or was getting to its last batch of being totally full. And that's where you want it. So there's a minuscule amount just floating on the top, which there is now. So I've finished with that now. So now it's time to add the roses. So if you wanted to do your own flowers for your wedding because the florist is too much, because often they are, very experienced they are, but prices can be very, very steep, um, then this is a great way of doing it. If you wanted to go down a flower market yourself. So you take the rose and you'll stand it and see where you need to cut it off. You want to remove all its leaves because leaves make the... Um, leaves make them die when they go into water and then you're going to place them in the corners first of all so i'm going to place this and i'm going to have its head slightly sticking out the top of the box and then i'm going to go all four sides so you don't want the flower to be the same size as the box because of course you want the stem to soak up you've got it touching the bottom it's not going to soak um, but you need to remove all the greenery so we're going to stick that into the corner of here as well. Now these are all the rage at the moment. The hat box flowers, as they are known. Into the corners. And then you're going to fill by going in the middle there. In the middle there. I'm going to have to come back to it once I've opened this. So then all we're doing is carrying on and we just fill the box. Gary's clicking his fingers behind oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Not on a oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Can't do anything quietly in this house. And then I need to fill in. I'm going to use a white ribbon to go around it to tie a bow. On the floor. That is a finished, beautiful box of roses and so simple and so easy to make. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And uh, thank you for watching. See you later.